home with the shit stolen If that bitch tell on me, I'ma do a fucking drive-by in her colon With my meat, gotta keep it obsolete Like this brown when Rihanna got her fucking ass beat What's up, y'all? I don't have my, uh, my little car cup holder thing that I use to hold my phone up and I didn't bring my tripod, but that wouldn't be no help, much help in the car So, I have it on the part where you where they show you the miles and shit i want to make a quick video while i drive because if i don't make this video today i'm not gonna make it at all so i wanted to uh talk about a project okay so the plan of recording a car did not work so i'm in my room one of the rare cases where you will see my room Look crazy in here, but I live in my parents' basement. But I'm 23, so it's okay for now. But I want to talk about the project, my upcoming project I'm doing. So I am making a mixtape. I announced this mixtape in 2017 as a joke. You know, uh, the cover of the mixtape. I had got my uh, eighth grade graduation picture. And like, I didn't like how I looked in it cause like backstory from there, I didn't want to smile. And like every time I took a picture, like for school day, I was coming to smile and I ain't like smiling. So like that year, the person didn't tell me to smile. I'm like, oh word, I ain't got to smile. So I didn't, I'm almost so mad about them pictures. I ain't like how they came out even. So I got one of them and wrote ho on it. And then I was fucking around with Microsoft Paint on my computer on my laptop and I just put the word ho on it and put the print advisory sign on it and I'm like that look cool so I posted it made a little joke tagged my two um classmates that were doing rap at the time and I'm like oh fuck both of them I'm gonna drop my mixtape coming out never type shit but you know I made a song before and it was nice, and I like doing shit in the name of comedy. I like doing shit funny. I like finding different ways to make people laugh. So, yeah, I'm officially making a mixtape now. I made a playlist on my uh, on YouTube, and I, and people have been looking at it and shit. And yeah, I'm not really consistent when it came to because I'm going to drop it sometime like in February of this year, but I have not been working on anything. Cause like, you know, motivation doesn't always be there, but you gotta spark a motivation to actually make one. So the album will be called Ho. Here's the official cover for it. I modified it from the old version I had. And yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to see how many songs I want. I want 10 songs on it. And I got a list of the songs and stuff on my name because like, Currently, I have three songs for the mixtape, and I'm working on, is it six? Yeah. No, I'm working on five. And then I got like a demo track. So, uh, the first song I wrote, it was in 2019, 2019. So, basically, my ex wrote a post about me acting like my friends wasn't gonna beat her till she bleeds. For real, you talking shit about the blue, acting like you don't remember, I got dirt on you. So yeah, basically, um, my ex, one of my friends actually told me, hey, your, your ex been talking about you on Facebook. I'm like, she has. So me and her weren't friends on Facebook, so I got on my friend's phone and looked for the post. So the, the post basically said, if you want you a real nigga, date you a light skin. And then her response was, the first light skin I dated that felt like I was dating a bitch. So I'm like, oh. Alright, so I sent this to my friends and they were like, what the fuck? So they tagged her in the post and they were kind of going at it and shit. So one of the main comments my ex had said it was like, your friend got a big ass ego because I wasn't even talking about him. I'm like, I ain't the one that said you was talking about me. I'm not even friends with your ass on Facebook for me to see it. You should think someone showed me that, you dumbass. So I uh, got the beef for Beyonce's ego and I rapped on it. So that song took four days to make because like I got I got tired of like working on it type shit, you know. Like I couldn't just sit there and write a whole song because like you got to rhyme and all that, and you got to make sure 
you're still telling the story while you're rhyming. So it's like you got one bar for the story, then one bar that has to rhyme with that line, then another bar with the story. It got annoying. So the first day I wrote the intro, the first verse in the chorus. That took a lot out of me. The next day I wrote the second verse. The third day I wrote the bridge. And the third verse. And then after that, uh, the fourth day I recorded so I had I recorded in my car. I had to sit there and do one long ass take because like I didn't feel like recording one verse then editing that in because like my computer the thing I used to edit it it just wasn't my computer was running slow. I used to be downloading shit on there, so it just wasn't working up to par. So I recorded one long four minute audio and then like put it on top of the audio and made sure it just match. So yeah, recently. Uh, I've gotten the mood to make more music because I heard uh, Tony Braxton's song He Wasn't Man Enough and I was playing it on repeat. I love that fucking song. It's good as hell. And Tony Braxton got me out of retirement. And I, I inboxed on Instagram. I'm like, thank you. You got me out of you got me out of my funk. You may want to be creative. So I appreciate that. So special thanks to her. So I released that song. So how that song went fucking... I worked on it for a little bit, then stopped for three months, and then finally decided to finish it. Because it's like, I was working on it. No, I think what discouraged me is when I posted the like single cover on Facebook, no one reacted to it. And that kind of gets on my nerves sometimes, because I try not to like have my drive be people reactions, but it's like, it helps. So I just, I ain't finished writing it. Because I let all of come out Friday. That'd be the thing, like, I drop a release date for some shit. Then I don't finish it because I'm like, damn, anybody looking at it, anybody gonna watch it type shit, listen to it. But yeah. Okay, before I talk about that, I gotta talk about so this thing the track list, but these are the songs that I'm that some of them are in progress, some of them are done already. So the Beyonce uh song uh is called She Got Me Fucked Up. So I was thinking, like, should I re-record that? But I don't feel like it. And it'll sound more authentic, the fact that it sounds old. So, the Tony Braxton song is called Not Exclusive. It's about, um... This girl I used to be cool with. We was friends, but she just really thought I was supposed to be exclusive to her. And I'm like, we're not even dating. What the fuck is wrong with you? So, no. Uh, the week, a uh, week after I released this song called Was Good, the beat is from Speed Drive by Charlie XCX. That song just came out for the Barbie movie, and I love the beat to it. And that song took me two hours to write. Like, literally, I was in my room in the dark, laying down, and I'm just typing away. And it was about a lot of different shit. Like, about, it was just random shit. It wasn't no real topic. And that's why, that's why I see why a lot of rappers rap about shit that don't make no sense or don't rap about, don't have a topic. Because, like, it's so much easier to write a song like that. Because, like, first I started talking about eating ass. Then I started talking about, uh, I got a new car. How people don't know me. Uh, talked about how this girl turned me down. Or how several girls have turned me down to go with a stupid slow nigga. Then I talked about how I want to fuck my friends. Uh... Yeah, a lot of jabs and shit in that song, but I like it, and it kind of almost discouraged me again because it's like, it's not exclusive. When I posted that, I got some type of reactions on Facebook and Instagram. When I posted Russ Good, nobody on Facebook or Instagram like reacted to it, and I was just like, "Well, damn, kind of fucked me." But I put it on this app called Audio Mac. Yeah, that's why I'm going to be posting my music. Because I tried to post not exclusive on SoundCloud. And SoundCloud said copyright of Tony Braxton. But when I post Speed Drive, it didn't take that down. And I'm like, all right. Audio Mac. Audio Mac is a cool site. I ain't going to expose it too much. But, yeah, it got some, it got leaked stuff on there. And I'm like, are y'all allowed to have this shit on here? But, I mean, hey, they ain't worried about me. I ain't going to worry about them. So, yeah. I officially only have three songs made. I have a demo track, so like, I started trying to work on this mixtape 2021, and I made a song, uh, it was called Intro, it was the beat to Freaks and Geese by Childish Gambino, and it's like, what really inspired me to rap is Childish Gambino and Tyler the Creator, I really like them, I like their come up, I like Tyler's a lot too, cause he does, does a lot of his shit on his own, 
And it's like, though Childish Gambino, he was like on TV and shit during the time, I believe, right? He still wanted to make music. He had a passion for music as well. He does, 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 does a lot of stuff. And I want to do that too. Like I want to make movies. I want to make TV shows. I want to make music type shit. I got, I got a Lego TV show that's on my uh, Lego series that's on my YouTube channel. Like I want to do a lot of things. So, uh, yeah. Intro song was kind of me like trying to be like on some mix, on some album shit, you know. And I listened to it, and it's like it, the verse isn't bad. And I'm just like, damn, I was really in my feelings during this time because some of these damn songs, well, one of these songs I wrote, I was in my fucking feelings when I was writing that shit. But uh, the album vibe different now because I'm in a better place. I'm in a better headspace. I like I want to have fun now. I ain't as depressed as I was two years ago. Shit finna be cool. So yeah, I wrote the demo song with December 2021. And I have a demo thing because I sent it to my friend. And yeah, I don't even want to re-record that. Because like, that's why the Tony Braxton song the first time, like when I redid it, well not when I redid it, when I wrote it and performed it, I'm just like, I'm tired of the speed drive. It was fresh. So I kind of had more energy while recording that type shit. And then, like, I don't, I be trying to, I'm trying to get better at, like, not seem like I'm reading off the fucking lyrics. Instead, of memorizing my own lyrics. And sometimes I forget them, but I, I did write them. So, the next song that I need to finish is called uh, Curious. I, the last edit I made was in March 2022. So, um, I was depressed, like I said. I was, uh, my feelings about this girl. She, long story short, she like to be cool with me one minute, then don't want to be cool with me the next minute on some bogus shit. We still cool now. We don't work together. And that was probably our biggest down. That was probably our biggest like downfall. Like us working together was like interfering with our friendship type shit. Cause it's like we liked each other. If she talked to a dude, I get mad. And then like she the type that try to act like she a thug and don't got no feelings when I know deep down she fucking does. But yeah, that beat is from uh find your way by the baby i think that's what the song was called so yeah i actually read the verse because like the chorus kind of cringy but i read the verse and i'm like this ain't bad because i was gonna scrap it i'm finna be like i'm finna throw it away but i'm just like i'm sat here wasting my time fucking doing it and i might as well keep it so yeah the next song i was trying to write was uh on the beat of fractions by Nicki minaj that doesn't have a uh that doesn't have a title yet because I'm I'm trying to see if I'm still gonna even write the song. So all the, the only I got two bars. I, I'm using my phone to record, so I can't really see them. But I think I said, "Life's pretty great, patched up all the stitches, but God keeps sending me these dumb bitches." And that's all I got. I that, I just stopped because I'm just like I don't even feel like making <laughs> rapping no fucking more. I also made that in March 2022. So. The three recent songs I've been writing, one is called Salad Tossing. That is um the beat of Destiny's Child jumping, jumping. It's about me eating ass. First time I ate ass. So yeah, I know on my mixtape I had to have some type of eating ass song. Um the next song doesn't have a title. It's the Draco beat by Future. Uh it's a shit talk song. And it's probably leaning more towards the, um, I'm finna take your girl type shit. You know, cause I used to be on that when I was in high school. So, yeah. Um, the next song does not have a title as well. It's the beat of Maserati by Sicko Mob. That's a Chicago duo. Uh... That beat, that song is a shit talk song too. I just started writing back on that. So, yeah, Maserati has like, what, they got like a verse? What, I don't fucking, they, they all got a verse type shit. They got at least a verse. Uh, So yeah, that's nine things I've named off. I want to do a song with the beat of Hove Lane by Nicki Minaj called BWA Bitches With Attitudes. So, I keep trying to like, 
put songs to the side and like write other ones and I'm just like you need to fucking finish the ones you got already so uh yeah I need to finish that then it's this one song by Marcus uh Marcus Can Canty I think that's how you say his name Marcus Canty he got this song called In and Out and that's gonna be my cocky song called That Nigga Ain't Me cause like people like to replace me girls and I be like, that nigga ain't me, that nigga ain't me, that nigga ain't me. I used to sing when I was younger. Once his voice got deep, that singing voice went away. I mean, I could probably, we all can sing. Can I sing? I can sing well. I can't sing good. I can sing well. But, yeah. This is some of the notes I have for Ho. Three finished songs, five songs in progress, one demo. Then I want to add two more other songs on there. So to recap, I got a song about saying fuck my ex, a song about this is saying fuck this other girl, a shit talk song, a song about this girl, another girl. Uh, Fraction's going to be a shit talk song. Salad Tossing is about eating ass. Draco is about taking somebody girl. Maserati is a shit talk song. Intro is supposed to be the intro to mixtape. Hove Lane gonna be me talking about I don't want a bitch with no attitude. And uh, In and Out gonna be um, me saying that nigga ain't me. So, yeah. Be on the lookout. I wanna drop it by the end of the year. Cause I was trying to get myself a deadline again. I was gonna be like, I wanna drop it on my nephew's birthday. The birthday be uh, October 26th. So, I mean, I might. And this is my setup. I'm in the living room, set my phone up, project voice memo, record a verse, record all my verses individually, and then I edit it in uh, InShot. InShot has been my lord and savior since I've been fucking 17. Like, I was only using that app to, like, you know, when you got a, a photo that's in landscape and you want to, like, try to put it on your Facebook profile, but, like, it zooms in because, like, it's not formatted correctly type shit. So then they will put like something in the back on the sides to make it look decent, to make it a square. So I started using the editing, their video editor. I've been using it ever since. I've been using that to edit all my videos and I use it to edit my music. What I do is make a lyric video for the song first and then I put it on YouTube. Then I get a YouTube, I go to a YouTube download a website and download it and put it on my phone. Then put it on the website. I don't use a computer. I use my phone for everything. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to do shit in the name of comedy. Uh, you're going to look out for Ho. Uh, and I'm doing, like I said, I like to do stuff out of comedy. And it would just be funny if, like, I get out there. And, like, my people from high school who have been rapping for a long ass time don't get out there. Because it's like, I want to be different. I don't want to sit up here. I want to do everything for free, first of all. Like, I want to do the Nicki and Wayne way where they just rapped on old popular beats or whatever beats that they wanted to from artists they like you know that's free motherfuckers buying beats some buy beats some buy uh use type beats on youtube that are free and then they go to they buy studio time and shit like they said up there this one post just said like Lil Nas X bought studio time he I think his studio time was like twenty dollars on twenty or fifty and now he's like that old time road song blew up and shit, but that's not it does not fit happen to everybody. Like you can't just use his thing. Cause niggas in high school used to always go to the studio. So you always gotta pay to go on that bitch just to record some shit. One of my uh one of my classmates, we damn near senior year and he was releasing his third mixtape. I'm just like, you might as well stop. But you no, know, that was very wrong with me to say. I ain't said to him, but I'm just in my head thinking that. Follow your dreams, do what you gotta do. Everybody don't hit fame at the same time. You know, you might be 30 years old. Shit, motherfuckers, you might hit fame at 40 type shit. Just keep doing it. But, yeah. Let me know in the comments how you feel, what you think. If you want to be on a song, because look, you can send me a voice memo on fucking either iMessage or Messenger. I will put it on the thing. It don't fucking matter. Because I'm using my phone, no mic, just the phone. Like, now I don't have a mic. I'm just talking. Shit, I'm not I'm not buying shit. This is finna be free. 
you know, and I want to just be the type of person, if I get out there and be like, y'all do this shit for free, you can do it too type shit, so, yeah. I got you niggas nervous like a pop trying to act as virgin hot vegan daughter where the cock goes. Wake up, wash ass, go and eat some Roscoe's. Head back to the studio to munch upon some tacos.